How do I compare this pizza with the one that are all over Italy? Well, <laughs> where do you want to start? Ciao a tutti, my name is Simone Falco. I'm the chef and owner of Rosso Pomodoro. I've been making pizza since I was very young. I'm very excited today because we're gonna discover which one is the best delivery pizza you can get at home. Stay tuned. Let's see what we have here. Feels super soft and a little oily. A lot of flour underneath as bar. That's why the color is so dark. A lot of yeast, maybe potatoes. There's a gooey line right in the middle, but looks pretty good. Sweet is the first thing that comes. The tomato sauce, not bad. There's a sauce on the side. There's a lot of butter. Ah, it's a garlic hollandaise. Maybe deeper in there? Oh. It's having a pizza with mayonnaise, and maybe some people like it. I don't really enjoy it, but I guess it's a good start. Wow, we have the pepperoni. Not bad. The underneath part is cooked much better. They might use oil or butter, make it crispy. The smell is more of a cake, calzone more than a pizza. The crust is stuffed with not just cheese, but mozzarella. I think the cheese of a better quality, less sugar, less doughy. I think it's a little too soft. Not enough tomato sauce, barely a little, but overall it's not bad. Pull out directly from the fridge, give it a bite before you go to bed. I will do that. Okay, definitely thinner crust. I can see oregano. The crust smells of oil. Inside is a little tight. It's pretty good. I don't see sugar in the tomato sauce, which makes me very happy. I don't taste the sugar into the dough, which makes me happy again. But it stays there, doesn't drip oil. This is the pizza I would like to sit on the couch on a Sunday, watching the football with an easy beer, or as I prefer the wine. It delivers. I think this is the best so far. It's my favorite. Saluda. Oh my lord. Well, this is nice. What is it? It's pie. Oh, I see a lot of sausages, mushrooms, jalapeno, uncooked dough, dense, doughy, but the cooking technique is much better. They use very good ingredients. The heavy weight on top, it tastes good, but that part feels to me like soupy. And here we are, signori e signori. They use a little semolina flour to make it crisper, which will give a nice bite, a nice touch. The cooking technique is good. It holds up well. A lot, a lot, a lot of olive oil in the dough. Sweet, sugar back. The amount of sugar that you feel everywhere, for me, is too much. But overall, I guess, fairly balanced. Definitely on the top rank on the one that we tried today. The culture of pizza is the neighbor plays, the family that runs it for you. Talk with them. Buy like something more simple and either hot. Mm -hmm.